So I don't usually make videos like this where I'm going to tag an account and talk about someone. Um, but somebody tagged me in this account and I went and watched their videos. And it appears to be a young couple who has a Belgian Malinois puppy who's about four and a half months old. And um, they just appear to be a little out of their depth with this puppy. It happens all the time when someone tries to touch my puppy. Don't touch. Why are small dogs always so angry? <laughs> I don't want you to rush into their comment section with your gatekeeper, elitist, judgmental bullshit. Nobody needs that. That's not helpful. Like, don't get me wrong. There is a time and place for that kind of information. But once somebody already has the puppy, that time has passed. But I would like to use this as an opportunity to get some information to people because this is the kind of behavior that folks in the Malinois community see all the time when someone who's not quite prepared and doesn't quite understand the nuance and the experience that it takes to raise a social level-headed Malinois really takes. You see the owner laughing and smirking when his dog is being a little fearful and, and suspicious of people coming up to it. Um, not really concerned at all. Has no clue that this behavior is actually very likely to turn into a very dangerous liability in the future. He's clueless. In fact, a lot of the behaviors in these videos, I think, are being spun as cute or funny. And I think that this couple has no idea that they're actually creating a monster. And because it's a Belgian Malinois, it's a whole other kind of monster. But what I also see is a well-intentioned couple who clearly love their dog. So here's the two things I want you to take away from this video. Number one, don't be like this couple. And number two, is there a trainer somewhere in the Miami area that could potentially reach out to this couple and offer them some support? And maybe these folks already have a trainer. I'm not pretending to know their situation, but if you do, then might I suggest that the next time you're at a training session, you have your trainer audit your TikTok account.